Conquest had their monthly happy hour today, and I just have to say, I am blown away. The stuff that was talked about today was not what I expected, but it was really, really cool. So let's go ahead and dive right in to this happy hour review. Today's happy hour was largely centered around Organized Play Season 3, which is coming next year for Conquest. There are three new Organized Play kits that'll be available for retailers and vanguards to purchase. There'll be one for Tournament Play, Narrative Play, and a Paint and Take Organized Play kit. Let's start by talking about the Tournament Organized Play Kit. This is a fun kit designed for 8 players to participate in your tournament. If you're running a larger tournament than that, you'll buy multiple copies of this OP kit. It comes with certificates for 1st, 2nd, and 3rd place in the tournament, as well as a Best Sportsmanship and Best Painted Army certificate. On top of that, the player who comes in last place will get a wooden spoon with the Conquest logo on it, kind of just a way to make the bottom player not feel bad for coming in last place. You'll also have 3 exclusive miniatures that are all previews of upcoming factions, eight alternative command cards that you can give to the players so every player walks away with something from the tournament, and eight conquest sticker sets that are kind of just collectible stickers that you can have purely for fun. It also comes with a tournament code so that you can register your tournament so the players get their augum so that they get more voting power on the world map. If your community is looking to play some more casual events, then the Narrative Organized Play Kit is going to be perfect for you. This comes with a cloth map of the world of Aea for you to display at your local club. Comes with three metal objective marker tokens that you can use in your games of Conquest. Four measuring tools that can be used for the players just as kind of memorabilia or to help speed up your games. Eight alternate command cards. A campaign rule booklet. Eight Conquest sticker sets, which will be different than the ones in the tournament packet, and then eight store activity codes that give your players augum for participating in a narrative campaign. Finally, we have the Paint and Take Kit. This is designed to allow you to host up to eight people for a painting demo night where you can teach people how to paint and give people a free miniature. Each Paint and Take Kit will come with eight Noble Lord Sprues, which means eight full characters for the game, bases for those eight characters, a table tent or a sign to put on your table to advertise your event, and then eight paper painting mats that have the assembly instructions for the Noble Lord printed on them. This will be a fun way to host a casual paint night to draw in new players, not just to the gameplay of Conquest, but to the awesome miniatures that we get to paint. Each of these organized play kits comes with an illustrated instruction set to help you know how to use the organized play kit, and these will be different based off which OP kit you purchased. Obviously a paint and take in a tournament don't run the same way. If you're a fan of organized play and tournaments, you're really going to love this next bit. Next year will be the first ever World Championship Conquest The Last Argument of Kings tournament. It'll be held in Caius, which is an island off the coast of Greece. We get to go to the homeland of Conquest, and they said in the happy hour that this tournament would be just off of the beaches there in Caius. It's going to be a really cool event, really cool venue. Now, if you'd like to go to this event, the way you'll do it, you will play in qualifier events around the year. Each community locally will be allowed to host up to four events during the year. That can be qualifier events. These have to have a minimum of 12 players. In addition to this, any convention events that Parabellum is attending and hosting a tournament at will also give you points towards qualifying. Now you'll get points both for attending and for winning the events, so winning those events is certainly going to increase your chances of getting invited. We will have more information about this format and this special event coming in the near future. This is the only information they gave us so far. So stay tuned and watch for more information coming soon. We did get to see a handful of cool miniatures today. Most of them were already ones we knew about, but now we get to see their final form, all painted up and looking pretty. The most notable of these is the new Abomination, which will be coming out in January. It's really cool to see how they've taken an old sculpt and updated it into such an awesome new creature for us to paint. We also got to see the Aparcos and the Companion Cavalry for the City States, all painted up and looking snazzy. And then, perhaps the coolest new reveal, we got to see a teaser of 
the Sorceress for the Sorcerer Kings, which will be available to purchase at LVO and CanCon in January. After that, it will be available for a short time on the Parabellum web store starting in February. That pretty much wraps up what we got to see in Happy Hour today. It was a pretty cool Happy Hour. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited about. For me, it has to be that World Championship event. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go. I'm certainly not playing in enough tournaments to qualify as a player, but I want to see if I can find a way to go as a content creator. We'll have to just see how that plays out. If you guys enjoyed this video today, make sure you like it and then subscribe to the channel so you can see future videos. If you'd like to chat with me more, go ahead and jump over into my Discord server. The invite link is in the description to this video. Video. I'd like to give a special shout out to my channel members that make videos like this possible. You guys are amazing. If you would like to become a channel member, be sure to hit that join button below this video. As always, have an amazing day, and we'll catch you in the next one.